and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Give me my hand, you can be seated.
But he said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Yes. Oh, the God that we have today, Brother Mark, that, that told us to, to let our light shine, let you fire burn, let and let the world see the face fire on your candle, yes. and the face fire in our life. But I believe today that we're living in a time uh, where the fire is getting more dimmer and dimmer, don't you? Uh, it's not only getting dimmer uh, in our homes, but it's getting dimmer in our churches. Uh, but to me to let my light so shine before men uh, that they may see your good works and glorify our yeah. Father which is in heaven. Yes. But now I want to read another place. I've got another place that I want to read. A few scriptures. This is found in 2 Kings chapter 25. Lord Jesus. And the Bible says in verse 8, and in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which is the ninth, pink year of King Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, I done that. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Captain of the guard, his servant of the King of Babylon, unto Jerusalem. Listen to this now. Listen very close. He done told us to let our light shine, didn't he? Yeah. He said that we don't light a candle and put it under a bushel, but we set it on. Candlestick work will give light to the whole room. Right. And the Bible says, And he burnt the houses of the Lord and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, and every great man's house burned he with fire. Yes. This is the enemy that he's reading about. And all the armies of the chaplains that were with the captains of the guard break down the walls of Jerusalem round about. Now the rest of the people that were left in the city and in the fugitives that fell away to the king of Babylon with the remnant of the multitude did never, never, never Zardin, I guess that's how you pronounce that, the captain of the guard, carried away. But the captain of the guard left of the poor of the land to be vine dressers and husbands. And the pillar of brass that were in the house of the Lord. Now listen, this is what he done. This is what he got. And the pillar of the brass that were in the house of the Lord. And the basins. The, 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 the back brass. And the brazen sea that were in the house of the Lord. Did the chalding break in pieces and carried the way. Carried the brass of them to Babylon. But the pot. And the shovels, and the snuffers, and the spoon, and all the vessels of brass, wherewith they they ministered and took them away, and the fire pan and the bowls and such things as were of gold, and gold of silver and silver, the captain of the guard took away. The enemy. Broke in and he stole all this stuff. Uh -huh. And he took everything. But here's where I want to preach to you a little bit tonight, okay? Verse 14. And the Bible says, And the pots, this is what he took, And the pots, <coughs> And the shovels. But here's the message. And the snuffers. And a snuffer, let me tell you what a snuffer is, okay? And, and, and I looked it up. And it's a small cup or a, or a comb with a handle used to, to smother a candle flame and snuff out to extinguish, to suppress, crush, or slain, kill, or murder. That's the snuffer. Come on. Now you think the enemy ain't got a snuffer. He got it. He does. I ain't saying you're all dumb or nothing like that. But this is a little thing that this is the way God told me to bring it out and show you. This is a little snuffer. That's what this is. Come on, mate. See, it's not very big, is it? God spoke this word to me and I, I began to pray and I said, God, how do you want me to preach this message? I didn't know how to preach it, Brother Sam. But God said, I want you to go and I want you to preach it. And I thought it was funny. I laughed. But 
I never want to make fun of God. Uh, come on. But God said, I want you to preach. They say, you puffer with a snuffer. Come on. And we know who the puffer is, don't we? Do you know who the puffer is? Yes, That's the devil himself. Yeah. And he got a snuffer and he's going around and he's uh -huh. snuffing out everybody's life that he had. Yes, he oh, is. God saved you and me. He gave you and I a fire in our life. Yeah. Yeah. A he told us to go uh, and let our light so shine before men that they may see our good works uh, and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Uh, and you may think that you're nobody uh, in the eyes of this world, but I want you to know uh, that we're something in God. Uh, and God has given us a life, uh, and the devil will come up behind uh, with a snuffer by the sand, uh, and he's trying to snuff our light out. Uh, sit on the candlestick and oh. give room a uh, lot to the room that people may see uh, our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Uh, oh, they'll put the word of God in every vessel uh, and may God use. Uh, and the devil sit out after him uh, uh, trying to destroy him. Uh, and the Bible said that he come to kill but uh, to steal him to destroy him. Uh, and that is his desire. That's his goal. Uh, but I thank my God uh, and then I read in the word of God. Uh, he said I'll never leave you. I'll never go all the way. I sat down by the tent. I don't feel like my life. I'm a candle of the burner. I'm burning high. I'm going to take my God tonight. And then when he saved me, he put a fire in my heart. And every sense that he done, but the devil run around. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to put out my fire. And I came to children of God's life. Yes. Oh, really? oh. Oh. I see him going around. And Brother Larry and I begin to think, I said, God, a little fire, it starts out very little. And we can take this, and we can put that little fire out before it gets big. But if we'll stay in prayer, yeah, we'll sit in the place of God, and there's going to be a fire in our lives. says that there was a ten birds and five were wise and five were foolish and they all summered and slept so they let me know that I'm going to get a little lazy sometimes but the Lord heal me and then the fire won't go out and the Bible says and when the thing began to go out the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamp and they took their extra oil with them and that the foolish said oh, we're just going to take oil in our lamp and they was a little bit lazy. But see, the devil sees if we're serious about God or not. Oh, and we're going to go all the way. Yes. Thank my God tonight that he's given me a fire. And the devil's heart. And he's proud. And he's trying to put it out. Oh, thank my God tonight. If I can say what the word of God is, it's going to keep me on fire. It's going to help me to pray in the Holy Ghost. The Bible, says, the Bible says that there was going to be a cry made and that the bridegroom's going to come. And I believe that we're living in that time not today. We're living in a spiritual. We're living in a time where the Spirit of God is going to leave in the hearts of the American people. But they're not a praying. They're not a seeking God like we did once before. And the life is going out. And the devil could get that fire. The devil man on earth. He's going to step it all now. You've got to listen to what I'm telling you tonight. And they can pray for all the loose. And he's got a snuffer. And he's got behind his back. Yeah. And when they rose to trim their hand, I see we've got to be trimmed. I want to be trimmed, don't you? Lord, we're going to be trimmed with the Word of God. And when God said the Word, I'm going to do it if it gets to trim us. It's making our life burn brighter. It's getting all the burnt stuff out of our life. And then we can shine in this world. And the Word says that they went out to get them some oil. And the wise, the holy said, give us of your oil. And they said, now so. And they said, I to go out. And we call it up for ourselves. And brother said, what you got to do, you got to get it for yourself. Yes. 
And they were a fire burning. And we couldn't wait to get out to the house of God. And to give a testimony. And to sing a song. And the great I am. And the hell. And the fire in the burning law. And we can not ask if we go to the house of God or not. It's alright if I go. It's alright if I stay home. And the devil to put out your fire. And you better get a stir back up. And we know what the book of Kings says. In chapter 4 about the old. Oh, it was big here not too long ago. Amen. We better get everything that we can get. Amen. Come on. We better get all the oil that we can, Brother Ted. And they storms down the road. And they towns that we gotta go through. And they just uh, and they stay that we're gonna come up against. If we don't have God, but we are never overcome. And we better know one thing for sure. And that God is on our side. I may not be very well right, but I thank God. When the devil can hurt, he can fight. But he ain't gonna blow my fire out. Come on, come on. Take the puffer with the snuffer. He's got to get you. He's got to get me. He don't want us to be used to the God. He wants us to know. Oh, nobody wants to hear me. He don't want nobody wants to hear you. What you doing? You're trying to stop out of fire. I'm going to thank God. Somebody needs to work in God. But this ain't there, Lord. But you're going to burn down my fire. We've got to have a fire church in the time that we're living in. So we'll preach and tell me how to get it. I'm going to tell you how to get it. And the Bible says that John the Baptist come out of the wilderness. He would be locusts and wild honey. He looked like a well, old man, brother said, yeah. I'm sure he didn't look like we do today. But what the word said, and then he looked at the people. He said, I indeed baptize you with water. And but there's one and that's coming kind of my life.
and they can and get the power back in their life. We may not be the popper's preacher on the block, but there's somebody who will tell me the word tonight. You better get your power back up. You better get the power back up. I know that he's not going to pop out too fast. Come on, Used to have a desire for God. Used to pray and worship God. Couldn't wait to come through the doors. I've seen him come through a sound of praising God, of speaking in tongues. And they were the fire burn. And they were the fire burn. And that's what a fire did to us. I'm telling you tonight. But the devil began to speak to them. He began to tell them a little lie. Oh, they don't love you down there, woods people. You're not popular down there. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, preacher, I used to have a fire, but now I don't have a fire anymore. But I can hear, I can hear a word from God. And it begins to touch me. It begins to break my heart. It begins to call me to pray. And that's good. And that's good and that you were in this shape. I want to be within a place where the word would break you. And you would be in a mess. And you would end up in a lake of fire. I'm going to tell you one thing. And the old saying is, the way that you can beat somebody is beat them at their own game. And that what God's a good one? He's a pain fire and a fire in hell. Oh, the devil his Yes. Oh, God. He's a killing of fire. Uh, for the devil, his angels. Uh, yes. He ain't got any consuming fire. Uh, he's a consuming fire. Oh, I believe tonight that we need to hear a word. That's going to go deep in our hearts. I want somebody to preach a word to me. Oh, that would go into the innermost part of my spirit. That calls me to pray. Yes. The Minutes, and God, I'm sure they ain't doing nothing. I'm causing people to go to hell. Yeah. Oh, we need a preacher to come out of the wilderness with a fire. Yeah. 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 I pray God, Lord, if you don't preach me, I stand before him a speechless. I don't want to tell you a tale that's going to cause you to look out down the road. I didn't come to tell you a story about the big and they got away. But I come to tell you a story tonight. You better get a fire in your eyes. You better get one started. You better pray to God who will help you to be alive to this dying, to this generation that's Rebel against God for yes. her children. And their rebellion has come me. And when I was 14, 15 and years old, Brother Jack, I dared to stand my daddy in the face and slash him one time. But now they stand and they're slash their grandmas and they're slash their mommy to the And we need to jerk a switch out. <laughs> The rebellious against the world. They don't want to hear about the fire anymore. All they want to hear about. Oh, give me a nap. Give me a nap. Give me something. I'll tell you what they need. They need to look for the word of God. Uh, we need to get him in the house of God. Hey, we're no. to yeah, I'm going to be able to understand and let God know that I love him. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Come on. Go ahead. The children today, from my generation now, they're grown up. They're grown up. And look what a time we're living in. Back when I was a kid, uh, we didn't have all this spill uh, to entertain our mind. And now you can take them, they ain't taking them to the house of God. I'm not going to go to the church. I don't like it. I'll tell you what, there's going to be some blood dripping in somebody's hand. We better get our children in the house of God. And get them into an order. That they can get filled with the Holy Ghost. They used to shout and praise God, but they had a show, but they had a testimony, and they sat back, and the devil stuck their right path, but now they're backslid on their way to hell, and they don't want to hear the name of God mentioned anymore. Amen. 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 He'll tell you all kinds of good things. Uh -huh. He'll tell you it's all right. And Brother Jeff had to go down to the honky-tonk. 
He'll say it's all right if you go down to the bar. But, uh, but that ain't all right. Uh, my mama said, uh, come out from among them. Uh, be a separated people. Uh, and they can look at you and talk about you all the bar. Uh, but I know one time. Uh, the devil sees the fire in your life. He knows how big the flames of the burning. Uh, he might think that you are nothing to know. Uh, but God, uh, he set you apart in the hand that we yeah. have. Uh, and that he can show his glory through you. Uh, and that we will be a people. Uh, Right. I'm taking out of oh, the for the name of the Lord. And that's where the battle's at. It's in the name of Jesus. Yes. And we can drive by and the churches and their masses. It's going to people. And they can't get in the building. What's going on? And they're telling something that sounds good to the flesh. And they're telling something and that's going to go to the devil to leave them alone. And the devil to find you. And have a good sign. And that you've got to buy somewhere to burn it. And the people are praying and seeking God. Yeah, and let's let God be God again. He ain't lost no power, yeah. has he? Oh, yeah. Don't go there. He ain't lost one bit. Right. My God is real. Jeremiah said, Lord, I've been there. I've been there and I've said it. And my brother Jeff, when God calls you, he ordained you. And I believe what Jeremiah said, Lord, I'm not going to make mention your name no more. I'm not going to tell nobody else about you. And but God said, and Jeremiah, before and that you come out of the womb, I ordained you. Yes. And before that you would be a father in your mother's belly, I ordained you. I ordained you to be a prophet. And the Lord Jeremiah said, and Lord, I ain't going to make mention of your name no more. And little did he know, he would have started a fire in him. And that he had to say something. He said, in my heart, my bones, like fire should have been my heart. How you try to shut your mouth? Yeah. I'll be to the Lord of God. I think God saves us. And He puts His word in us. It's not a word. But it's going to fall over the crowd. It's going to be a word of fire. It's going to touch somebody. It's going to touch somebody. Of him no more. I ain't gonna speak about it no more. Brother Jeff, I said the same thing. Lord, I'm not gonna, I'm not a preacher no more. They don't like me down at that church. I ain't gonna, I end up, and the devil put my fire out. I'm gonna thank God. And somebody come through with the word yeah, that will not me again. They called me to pray and say, God, I thank God for the anointed word. And they ain't nothing like the anointed word. That's what the devil don't want. He don't care how much word you hear. As long as it's not an anointed, I want to be the anointed. It's going to set you on fire. We need some fire. Seek the face of God in the time that we're in. But we're living at the midnight hour. But they going to be a cry made. Do you have enough oil in your vessel to cause your life to burn? Or where you can go and make a bad groom? Come on. Amen. Takes oil to burn, don't it? Yes. <laughs> it takes the oil to burn the land. Brother Ronnie, sometimes. When God said the word and it hits me, all I can say, Lord, tramp my wick. Tramp it up. Yeah. These things that gets on that wick. Yeah. And the little black crust that gets on that wick. Oh. I'm going to tell you, it happens to all of us. Yeah. It happens to every one of us. Yeah. And these things in this world that try to get on our wick. Yeah. But I thank God. And then you got a preacher that'll come to and cut the top of the wick off. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But with the word of God, yeah. we can see what it does to us. It sets our feet on fire. It causes us to pray. A seek the face of God. But when all sent them, when they're going throughout the enemy's land, he had a fire that the devil did sign. He was a whoop and the devil on the left and on the right. But the devil said, I'm going to snap him out. 
There's got to be some way I can get to him. And the devil's a part of this devil who won't have a shirt now. There's got to be some way or another. There's a stop of fire now. I've got to get him. Oh, he's too strong. And God is on his side. And God is a use of hell. And when God brings us up, we can to use us. And here comes the devil. He's got this little sniper. And he wants to put out the fire. He wants to put your fire. I don't need really him to do it. keep on praying and seeking God. And the word says, and the little sense to take a job on him and ask. And he can slay a thousand feet of streets with her. I tell me this man didn't have a fire in his life. And anything you got in God, but the devil's after it. He don't want you to be used to God. He don't want you to stand up and give your testimony to God. He don't want you to sing. He don't want you to shout. He don't want you to praise God. And the wind ain't a fire in you. And you just can't help but praise and worship him. And tell him, how about you, love him? Come on. Come on. Amen. He had a fire. Yes. He had a fire in his life. And the devil sent it. The devil sent that fire burn. And he had to do something to get it out. Yeah. Here he come on. See, the devil will always tell you something that sounds good to the flesh. That's where we feel God at. We ain't a praying every day that we get a chance. If we ain't a reading no word every chance that we get. And the devil's going to try it some way or another. That's a stuff out your fire. And the old Samson, he laid down on God. And when the enemy seen these fire, or oh, the burn a little bit less and less, he come in and he snuck it out with a Sam. And the word says, and the old Sam. And they took him down. They put his eyes out. And see, the devil wants to take your vision. And that you lose your vision. But without a vision, and my people pearls, he said. The Lord said, he lost his vision. And then the world said. And that they took him down and took him the mill. He began to grind. He began to go around and round. And I believe if I was that smart, if I was a devil, I would have had somebody there every day. But the shame in his head, I won't let his heart go out with you. And the word said, and that his heart began to grow. And what was it? And the fire was coming back. And the fire was alive. And the fire in his life. And the word says, and that old Samson went out. At the last part of his life, and the last day of his life, he killed more devils than he ever did. And let me know, and that his fire was a burn again. And because you fall, but don't lay down. And get back up and say, oh, I'm going to be back up. I'm going to be back up. I'm going to be And that's how we whooped the devil. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. That's how we whoop him. Yep. We get back up. I say, Lord, forgive me for what I've done. Brother Ron, if you follow the night, get back up tomorrow. Oh, help me. I'm going to put up. Now, we need to be built upon the Word of God in order to stand. If we ain't standing on the Word of God, we'll never be able to survive the storm. We'll never be able to stand until our Lord saying, enter in to the joy of the Lord. What a God that we serve. Oh, preacher, I'm just a little young fellow. And David was a little lad too. And the God used him many. He had a fire that the devil did not I hope you will find the prize of hell. If you were to say there must be a fire, a burn somewhere. Yeah. If you got any oil in your vessel, you better pray and keep putting more in. Yeah, man. We better keep the oil in our lamps. That's right. We better keep our wick trimmed. We better keep our lamp to burn bright. And Brother Sam, I want the world to see. I want the drug addict to see. And that they got a chance to make it to heaven. I want the whoremonger to see. And they got a chance to make it to heaven. The only place they need is to go and find them an altar. And begin to say, Lord, but why the fire in me? I want a fire in me, don't you? I'll tell you, I've been saved. I've been born again. And I've been down in his hand. And I've been feeling. With the Holy Ghost, yeah. but the same one that come back on yeah. and the day of Pentecost, and the devil's come too late, and they tell me to share my mouth, yeah. and they call, and yeah. the yeah. that's in me, and the demons in the world, yeah. and they ain't no way to call it, you see, but 
shall prosper. What a God that we have. What a God that we have. They say, cast your cares upon me. I don't have to go around curving that load. When the devil tries to load me down, I take him and throw him off on the altar, don't you? Yeah. Oh, preacher, do you do that? You better believe I do. I'm just a man like everybody else. I fight the devil every day. I stand against him every day. If I didn't know the word, he would have my fire off. Oh. That's why we need the word of God. Yes. In our lives like never before. We can whip the devil. And we can keep our fire burning. And I believe tonight that God is telling somebody that we can. That we can no more fire. He wants you to be different from the world. He wants you to love and praise Him. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Oh, we used to love everybody. We used to have a love. No matter what they've done to us, we're going to love them anyhow. But as time went on, as the words begin to get a little sharper and sharper, the devil tried to put her flame out. But now, we're in a shape. And they better not look at me today and say nothing. I'm going to knock them out if they do. What is it? And the devil's trying to stop our fire out. And my brother saying, if we can look at them and say, I love you. And they'll cuss us all to pieces. And oh, we got a fire. That you're reaching out to them. And see, the devil don't want you and I to love the way that God did. And when they took him and they nailed him on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what to do. And that was a fire. And that was a fire on that cross. And that the devil couldn't put out. And I thank my God. And that that fire is still a burn in the bed. Spirit. Come on. Amen. You ain't stirred in your spirit. There's something wrong. Amen. The word that we've had preached here, Amen. we ever want to be a blazing with fire. Amen. We ever want to be on fire. Amen. We ought to come to the house of God. But then I'm going to sing them now. If you don't like it, I'm going to sing it. That's a burning in my spirit. I've got to tell God how much I love Him, how much I thank Him, and because, and brother, and money, I didn't make your name in the mission word. You want to praise God. You can't make my name in the We ain't never going to get stirred up. Amen. We waiting on the preacher to stir us up. Well, if he comes out now in the dumps, don't you think he might need stirred up? Come on. Sure, we all need stirred up. Yes. And Brother Sam, and the devil don't want us to praise and worship God. And when we come in the house of God, he wants us to sit on our seat. He wants us to sit right here. I knew me if he can. Well, listen. They had a fire, don't you think they did? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they yeah, were trying to away that he could. And to put their fire out. He threatened. Yeah. Well, he beat it. Yeah. I've never been beat. I've never been put in jail. Uh, for the name of Jesus. Uh, but if it come to it, uh, they could throw me in jail. Uh, because uh, I've been read in the Word of God. The uh, Word God. Uh, if I get in there uh, and I begin to pray a little bit. Uh, and I begin to sing a little bit. Yes. Uh, what, what do you do? You uh, want to send another earthquake. Uh, uh, sink the jailhouse. Uh, uh, worry about uh, uh, what the devil is going to do. Uh, uh, what he's made his threat against you. Let's oh, Let's stick a fire back in your heart. Yeah, yeah. May the snuffer on the loose. Amen. The devil's been a puffin', man. Uh -huh. He's been a puffin'. Come on. I've seen God move. 
I've seen God move throughout our church of the cross this country. And just a little while after you begin to move, guess what? You come to the devil with a snuffer. And he's going to I put it on this one to say, oh, they don't like you, and they don't want you, and they don't want to hear your testimony, and they don't want to hear your stuff. And what will we do? We'll sit there, and the first thing you know, we don't feel God. We come to the house of God, and we say it, and we don't feel nothing. That's a good sermon. The fire's gone out. We get back at the altar and say, God, I was thinking today, you know, most house fires, most house fires, they start. They start with this little thing here that we can put out. You agree to that? Uh -huh. It starts with a little fire. But, but as it goes on, it gets bigger and bigger. Uh -huh. That's the way God wants you and me. Yes. He wants us to burn out of control. We're holding back. Yeah. And we're not letting God have his way. Oh, we want a little fire. But we want a bigger fire. Don't you want a bigger fire? Yeah. I want a bigger fire. Oh, one well, that was set to church on fire, don't you? I'm about to be able to say it. Oh, you got a fire to sit down. And if we don't keep on obeying God, if we be rebellious against God, and the devil knows that fire's going to keep going out. And then it all and all and all. And you think I'm telling you a tale. And you just try and see if I'm telling you a lie. And we better against God. But don't do what he said. And you'll find your own little fire and get well and well. And the first thing that you know, and you're going to be surrounded with darkness. And the Bible said that men were in darkness. And I would be lying. I don't want to lie, don't you? And I can see. And if I don't have a lie for the gym, I'm going to take the wrong trail in the hell. That's right. Come on, brother. Come on. we got to have a fire. Yes. I want a fire. I want my pastor to preach to me. Hell hot, heaven sweet. Amen. Don't let up on the word. Amen. If you don't let up on the word, uh, you'll look back on your congregation uh, and you won't see but just a little trickle. Just a little bit trickle. God's going to rent the seat in this hour after these hours of the word of God. He's got the people uh, saying, God, give me a word that uh, will stir me up. Uh, and this world may not want it. Uh, and then God's going to live in it. Uh, and wants to be I love you more than anything, don't you? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me read you this scripture here. If I can find it right quick. I got it marked out for your belief. This is in Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 19. And the Bible says, Yet if there one the wicked and, the, and he turns not from his wickedness nor from his wicked ways listen he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul yes. that's why we got to preach the word of God harder than ever before Amen. we don't know who's sitting around us that needs that word that will cause him to pray now we're now, now listen to this. Verse 21. He said, Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he does not sin, he shall surely live because he is born. Also thou hast delivered thy soul. Now that's the way I feel tonight. And God has given somebody a word uh, that takes a pupper uh, on the loose with a snuffer. He wants to snuff you out. You better watch. You better pray. You better seek God. Uh, you might not believe what I'm going to tell you. Uh, and what God said. Uh, and there's somebody in the building tonight uh, that needs to come and pray. Uh, and this might be your last chance uh, that you'll ever uh, get the opportunity uh, to come up to an altar and begin to pray and seek God. Uh, and you used to want to have a fire. Uh, but now that fire's gone out. Uh, and you'll pray it. Uh, and God help me to get back uh, where I once was. 
out. Then we got to get to have a seat. Then we got to get out there lazy and say, God, help me to swallow my pride. Oh, get out there and get my pride again. God, He wants every one of us to be on fire, don't you? If I sit down and shut my mouth, and my fire will go out. But God gave me a big mouth, and now I'm going to use it for the Lord. I'm going to spurn off, and we better not let the devil put your fire out. Come on. If you're a righteous man, you better keep a praying and seeking God. You better keep the fire burning in your life. If it goes out, you may never get a lid again. A rod hits red. We better keep a praying and seeking God. We better be in the house of God when the doors are open. And let God be God. We're going to open this hour up. If you want to pray, God or something. Yes. Somebody will pray with you. We'll get right down there just as long as it takes. We'll be a praying right along with you. If you don't know God, now's your chance. If you don't know God, you better come and pray. You better cry out to God. You better say, preacher, I need a fire to back in my house. If the devil is trying to put your fire out, and now is the time to go. God said, I will ignite your fire again. But you got to come and pray. And you got to say, God, help me. And that I can have a fire back in my life. We're living too close to the end of time. But we'll sit back now by the same. And not keep our fire burn. But we got to keep this thing going. And while we got the chance. And while we have the opportunity. And we got to say, God, help me to be on fire. I want to be on fire, don't you? I want to fire.
prayer closet stand here on the altar. Brother Bo, the priest with And uh, they got the scripture on it. And Lord, let me lay out seven there. Seven is complete. It's completion. So if you want to see somebody, and there's, there's others here that he preached with. I'm just doing what the Lord said there is for. You want to see somebody's life changed. I still got them from when I was a child. And I passed them. You say, well, that's old superstitious stuff. But I believe, I believe what comes in. I'm taking the liver. You will cast out devils. You make people free. There's others. You don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to be backwards. Just come. If you want to live here, if you want to see your family, family members saved, you want to see somebody delivered, made free, they're still up here. They're still up here. Because, see, we're seeing God work. And I give him all the praise. I give him all the glory. We're seeing God work here. I don't want to do nothing to interfere with God's work. What he says, I believe it'll happen, everybody. I believe it'll happen. We just gotta be obedient to what the word of God says. And I want I do I want to thank everybody that's here tonight. Thank for the Bible and said it. Thank you. We appreciate it for coming. We appreciate it. Uh, and some of you didn't preach for you. They was in the house. They was in the house. But uh, we appreciate them and we appreciate them. I was getting it predicted. Did she get one? Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, Pete and Judy. I appreciate everybody. Not to get that job for you. We're going to, we are going to take up an offering. So, Brother Ronnie, come around and sing us, sing us another song. Somebody. Maybe a G, I'll sing it. We're going to take up an offering.
from the devil. But if you let him take that little snuffer, he's a puffin. He comes to us. That's what he'll do to us, brother Robert. But each and every one of us, it don't matter how big we think we are. You stop praying, you stop reading, you stop coming to church, the devil's going to snuff. So I love each and every one of you. I appreciate you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. We got to church tomorrow night. In Jesus, the pastor will be preaching. Come back and be with us. For the hunters, my church is Mark 12. If you want to go over there, you can go over there. We love everybody. We, thank you. we know people get help. It's where they get help. Somebody got help tonight. There were seats playing tonight. Yeah, all we're going to do is just walk and look at it. We thank God for you. So we're going to say shake hands, show yourself friendly. Good night. God bless you in Jesus' name.